A few days ago, there was a vicious attack on a taxi driver in Sydney, Australia. Taxi security has long been an issue worldwide and a major problem for drivers, causing great concern. Last year in March, a driver was viciously attacked in South Africa. None of this is unusual. How do we overcome the problem? How do we protect drivers effectively, rapidly and reliably and at an affordable cost? Individual drivers, as well as those working for taxi companies, work long hours, often late at night, alone, and often can't afford CCTVs in their cabs or other systems, many of which aren't very effective or reliable. Cell phones are not very reliable in the case of emergencies because of potential dropouts. Whenever they are required, they need to be connected instantly. In an emergency situation, reliability is king. In a panic, especially when attackers realize that the cabbie is trying to call for assistance, the driver calling for help on his mobile phone or cell phone often simply fails because he's too stressed to dial the correct numbers or because the attackers will prevent the calls from being placed. Drivers are generally not trained to handle panic or emergency situations of this kind. They have to rely both on technology and their abilities to react quickly and accurately. And here's the solution that we brought to Australia and other countries. It's based on the next generation 911 call, emergency call communications, known as Beam Cloud, Beam 911, and it's cloud based. It talks to and communicates with any variety of devices and is very rich in its abilities to communicate and to integrate these all into one simple interface. Getting back to the taxi problem and the solution. On the surface, the driver has done nothing. But with our system, she will have triggered an alarm through a simple movement such as scratching her arm or touching her sleeve. With the taxi security system, the device is neither seen nor known by others to have been triggered. By the driver simply touching, scratching or impacting the device, the following happens. Responders receive the driver's SOS on their cell phones or iPads, internet and other devices instantly. They see exactly where the problem is, they track the vehicle in real time and ascertain the nature of the problem all at the same time. Guardian Safety Management System, GSMS, is not device dependent. It flexibly interacts with different kinds of devices. For example, in the case of the taxi security, one solution, the one we recommend, is for a small GPS device customized by Beam Smart for the taxi industry. It's smaller than the one shown on this video. Uh, it's worn on the driver's wrist and can be attached to an item of clothing. It's really a microchip enabled with the InSmart application and small enough to be hidden on the person. But the responders get the signal and they know the driver's details, his name, license number, medical conditions, home numbers and so on. They even know the nature of the problem uh, and they will see where the taxi is. They will also 
uh, see the details on the map and when they click onto that they can get more details. CCTV cameras may be a deterrent but when there are drunk passengers or criminals it's easy for them to mask their faces and to cover or destroy the camera. Now in the case of carjackings and those are frequent in South Africa or the driver being unconscious the current systems are inadequate. Taxi dispatch systems are used and are generally very effective but they're not designed as emergency call systems. Guardian Safety Management System has launched this cloud-based emergency 911 system in Australia in conjunction with beingsmart.com which consists of a family of cloud-based communication applications. GSMS is not device dependent but flexibly interacts with different kinds of devices and so as in the case of the taxi security one solution the one that we recommend uses a small GPS device and it would have basically three buttons a red button for emergency help an immediate rescue, rescue an amber button to get roadside assistance and a green button for non-emergency information. The emergency signal operates through a communications network similar to the SOS emergency calls on mobile phones and sends alarms to five or six different responders at the same time. They may be for example a taxi headquarters, a police station in an area, a colleague and a family member. And the signals are extremely reliable and the speed of delivery is within two to three seconds worldwide. There's no limitation as far as the network is concerned. It doesn't matter whether the taxis are within the city or the country. Responders will see here's a nighttime shot uh, details not only of the taxi but the other people involved in the rescue and coordination. They'll also see the conditions of the road and any other events that may be of interest such as uh, traffic jams etc. And in the, in the case that the driver has the opportunity to speak on her cell phone, the same system will enable the people receiving the emergency calls to communicate with the driver by voice, video, email and text all on one page as we say. And here is another shot of what could be seen on any mobile phone. There are two screens. Um, there can be more than one person at a time talking and communicating. A breadcrumb shows the tracking of the vehicle and of course the details as described. GSMS is in operation at the University of Maryland for campus security. There is a, a student and staff body of about 15,000 people and they're very happy with that was introduced last year and in the graphic you can see how a student can initiate a call. This would go to various responders who would be able to coordinate the responses. GSMS has been widely